Wait for it. Uh-oh, guys. It's happening. The Convention Center for Lauderdale 2023. And we are beginning the walkthrough, my friends. Wait for it. Guys, we're here at Blue Cat. We're gonna start. This is a boat that we did a dedicated video on. And, uh, and there's a treasure hunt going on in the show, isn't there? Who won it? You found it? Where'd you find it? Where was it stashed? In the back? You saw my Instagram stories, didn't you? Yes. What's your favorite boat here? The big one or the little one? The big one. You guys always want the big boats. Everybody wants the big. I like this little one right here. Guys, 17 feet of catamaran amazingness. Now, I'm going to give you a sneak peek because we did a walkthrough with Les mm -hmm. earlier. Hey. Dubai in the house. Abu Dhabi. Yes. Oh, there we go. Abu Dhabi. I went over there too. I went to your mosque. Yeah, beautiful. Amazing, uh, yes, beautiful. I saw you in the, in the, the Dubai, uh, yes, Dubai. in the boat show. And I'm going to be there Dubai 2024. Yeah. We're sorry, we, 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 we're not anymore there. Ah, no, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going back. I'm going back. <laughs> yes, I'll be there, guys. All right, guys. Blue cat over here. Look at this. Look at this monster, guys. So, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and show this a full walkthrough. When I tell you an incredible boat, and I think my favorite part about this boat, guys, this is a 30 foot boat with like a 13 foot beam. It's that sick. In a weird way, I'm kind of trying to hiding over here. It's gonna get wild, guys. It's, it's Saturday and this might be a chit show. Wait for it. All right, let's see what happens over here, guys. I'm gonna show you guys what's there, what's not, where we can get in, where we can't. So, this is a nice looking boat. Capo Forte. Am I saying it right? Comment below if I said it right. Let me see. It's got some twin 200 Yamahas. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, guys. Um, Continental here is playing games. You can win yourself uh, a set of tires. All right, we got Fountain in the house. All right, Fountain has their first dual console. No, it's not me. <laughs> Who's the guy you're talking about? 6'5, 225, and ripped. <laughs> what do you mean, no? That's you. Bro, I'm looking down at you, dude. Look at this. <laughs> How you been, man? Good. I'm just starting a video right now at the show. You guys enjoying the show? Yeah. Are you guys local or are you visiting? Orlando. Yeah. Orlando. Okay. Well, welcome to South Florida. Yeah. You guys spend money, leave some money over here for us poor <laughs> folks. You guys got all the money over there with Disney. All right, guys. So, brand, brand new fountain is in the house. I heard you got a brand new uh, dual console. Right behind us. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I, I haven't had Mr. Beast call me yet. You hadn't had him call you yet? Well, I'm, oh, I'm patient. I'm a patient guy. Uh huh. We have the it's very coming. first dual console Fountain has ever made. Right here. Do right we have room to go the, in there real quick or no? Let's, let's do it. All right, guys. Fountain is in the house. Hey, wait a second. Is there a, is there a treasure hunt going on here? I think there is. Where? Somewhere. Some, somewhere around here? Yeah, somewhere around I don't know. You think so? Nah. That there's that's not that's not a treasure hunt. Alright, um guys, let me take off my shoes. Alright guys. Wait for it. I think I'm gonna have to i I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to keep my shoes off the whole show. Oh man. Wow. Nice, Fountain? Brand new dual console. Fountain? The 39DS. I would have not expected this. That's right. Come here, come jump on board. Real quick, introduce yourself so they know. Maybe I haven't seen you on the other videos. I'm Michael Harris. 
Sales oh. manager, accountant power buttons. Okay. Welcome aboard our brand new 39 dual console. We call it the 39 DX. We've got triple 400 uh, Mercury mainline engines here. We've got plenty of seating on this boat, wrap around lounge seats, uh, removable tables, a this galley, which is standard. We've got a, a grill here, <clears throat> freshwater sink, pull out fridge, storage drawers, and cabinets. Uh, this is Corian countertop, so it makes nice for your kitchen. We also have uh, more lounge seating over here. There's lots of options on this boat. You can either get uh, you know, this this package here, you can get just a bench seat in the back. We make a fish version with rocket launchers, live wells, pretty much anything you want. We're very customizable. Hall number one? This is hall number one, first boat. Really, I am a, I am, I am blown away. Really proud with the way it turned out. Yes. I'll tell you, a lot of people in the industry right now are uncomfortable. That's right. Right? Because this is a whole, a whole different setup. Absolutely. that people are not used to um yeah, we're excited to get into this market so okay so okay so so what are we talking about as far as speed on something like this let's let me get in here real quick so yep. we can see all right so so you guys obviously fountain i mean it's like fast yeah, you think fountain fast. is fast 70 yeah. uh this is a sixteen thousand pound uh 39 yeah, foot but it runs high. 70 with a <laughs> with the triple 400s and uh you can also get the five trip 500s and run uh, upwards of 80 miles an hour. We also offer the 300s. Uh, and we can I, still run 60 with the triple. I love this. And that's, uh, guys, it's so clean, but that's, hit it. There you go. Yep. All glass. <laughs> that's on a glass. All the way to the top. No eyes and glass at the top. So you're completely insulated from the elements in here. That's right. And we have uh, optional eyes and glass. It rolls down in the back. It's not on this boat. We've got the shore shade and the sail shade in the front. But you can close that off and this becomes a uh, 16,000 BTU reverse cycle heat and air conditioned cockpit. Guys, we're having a party here at Fountain at four. <laughs> wait for go. it, wait, wait for it. Okay, so le let me know what's going on towards the bow. And I see that we have some, some doors here. Yep, so if you wanna walk up in the bow, we'll, we'll catch the cabins here in a second. We've got the uh, optional sail shade. Up here, we've got the uh, wraparound seating. We've got filler cushions. This table is removable. You have filler cushions and a sliding backrest for three wide. Um, this this makes an air dam here, and this windshield slides over to completely seal off the air from the uh, cockpit on those cooler days. And uh, yeah, lots of speakers. Of course, this is fountain, so you got the luxury and the sound. Did your uh, did 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 you're following the the, the diehard fountain fans? push you to a, to a dual console like this? What inspired it? <clears throat> you know, um, we really wanted the market share, uh, especially more in the northern regions. So those guys that want to go boating year round, we've got, um, you know, New England, New York, the, the uh, Great Lakes areas. Yeah. They've got a really short season up there and this really extends your season. And uh, you've got the performance side. So it's family, it's, it's a family boat, but it's a performance family power boat. So, and I think you, you know, with this style, you really are only finding that with fountain. Let's see what's inside those. We've got a uh, berth on this side. It's, we call it a day cabin. So you can have a filler cushion put in there or as a couch, you put the kids down there. This is a uh, standard 6,000 BTU air conditioning or heat. The microwave on the left side and some storage. And then on the other side, we've got a, uh, a head compartment. So that's a uh, pull-out uh, sink, so that, that becomes a shower. We also got storage in there, separate head and cabin. Yep, we're really excited with this boat, and it's been very well received, this show. What do you mean, this show? This thing is going to go ape crazy on YouTube. Oh. If Mr. B shares it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to make a phone call. You're going to have to make a phone call. This is the year, guys. That's right. This is the year. We've got a powered sunroof. This is standard as well. And uh, a, a night vision, night track camera on the front. So when you're night boating. That's pretty much the boat. We offer it with Sea Keeper and Generator. So How much fuel will, will this hold and give us range? How much? 425 gallons. The range is 382 miles. That leaves a 10% reserve in the tank. So we're getting about a mile a gallon. Guys, 
I cannot say how awesome this is. You gotta come see it for yourself. Are you guys gonna be in Miami show? Absolutely, we'll be there. We'll have this boat and we'll have our brand new 43 SCX at the show. All right, we're gonna continue leaving here. I found it. Let's go. Guys, listen, um, here's the side profile of that boat. Absolutely stunning with some steps. Beautiful boat, beautiful boat, guys. Amazing. It's amazing. It is. Listen, inside. Yeah, super happy. Outside, I mean, come on, look at this. Guys, Fountain has made a statement. Wow. Uh, a dual console that gets one mile to the gallon and cruises at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, and probably goes, uh, wait for it. All right, guys. We continue here in the convention center. Some people are just walking in. We got Craval Bay Boat here. And we got nice 300 power in this Craval. What? What? Why do, why do people like call me a chit show? I just, I am, am <laughs> that is like, gotcha. is the guy from the chit show, he's 6'5", 225 and ripped. We'll tell her to call him that. Yes. <laughs> oh goodness. It's, it's a powerful series guys. The chit show is a powerful series. It's fun, it's a lot of fun. This, this boat is a lot of fun too. Look at this, look at this setup. Wow, what's the price on this 26? Let's see what we got here. We got MSRP is 224, boat show is 191. Uh, eight, eight foot six beam, 25, six, 20, 26 HBW is what they're calling this. I like this boat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I hear somebody saying, wait for it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for it. Hey, what do you think about this boat? I love it. Isn't it awesome? I follow you. Who? Me? Yeah, what's up? What's going, going on, guys? Good. Hey, good to meet you. I'm here, uh, I'm filming the show. You guys seen anything you guys like? Nortex, Sensation, you know. Okay, well, the well, there's a bunch of Nortex over there on the other side of the show, too, if you guys missed the other side. Yeah. Wait for it. Nice to meet you. Where are you coming from? Tampa. Tampa? Yeah, I watch your videos all the time. I love it. Who doesn't watch the <laughs> show? Who doesn't watch all my boat show? Like, I mean, come on. It's hard for me to go anywhere anymore. You're the only YouTuber I can watch for more than 10 minutes and enjoy it. Ah, that's, 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 that's a compliment. I'll give you the hundred bucks in a minute. Give me a second. All right, All right guys. I'm continuing my running gun. Craval over here, guys. Nice looking boats. Wait for it. Um, this is a uh, different 26. 26 HCO. This is nice. This is the manufacturer I really haven't done a lot of footage on. So, we got a 350 on this. Oh no, we got East Cape over here to the right. Oh boy. It's gonna get interesting. All right, all right, let's see what we got here. We got a... I don't remember seeing it. nada. Son mentira. <laughs> oh man, cocodrilo means crocodile, guys. Bonita boats. What do we have with Bonita? Bonita shark bait 141. Take a flyer. All right, guys, listen, scan that. If you want to get a little bit of information, just scan that. Let me see. Can you guys get that QR code? Yeah. There you go. You just lost all your crypto. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I won't put a QR code that I didn't trust. All right, so we got more boats here, more Bonita. And I like seeing boats that you guys have not seen. 
And maybe we get some price points on some of these manufacturers, right? Wait for it! Hey! East Cape is in the house! What's up, brother? What is up, brother, from another mother? It's another year, and um, always good to see you, man. I remember uh, breaking your boat show cherry one year. Yes, you did. Yes, and I've seen you at the shows ever since. Well, they work. And they work. Yeah, and so, is your, so does your viewership. Okay, all right. Come here, let's, let's talk about this, because... We're, we got we got some boats here today. Good to see you, Kevin. Good to see you. As always. Yes, sir. Okay. So what do we got here? Which one's this one here? This is the East Cape Vantage. Okay. And um, this one's optioned out with a 90 horse Suzuki. Little simple, a uh, little simplicity here. Mm -hmm. Center console. Um, it's got a powder coat package. It has the power butts and trolling motor system on the bow, lithium battery. It's got uh, the fold down gray on gray scheme going on the hull. It's got a few little bit more options on it, um, but still very simple. But the star of the show has been the new 25 Open. And I just want to say always, every time I see you, you always get me kind of uh, off guard. Uh, listen, that's <laughs> what my channel's about. Yeah, man, but I, I'm just blessed to be here. Um, it's been a good show. It's been a good show. Oh, okay, so price point on something like this. So the average boat going out the door in this style segment, because things have obviously gone up. We don't need to talk about that. Yeah. Everything's gone up. Um, it's going to be anywhere from the high 50s all the way up to even the 80s and 90s because this boat will take a 90 all the way up to 175. So if somebody's doing a 16-inch MFD at 175, two power poles, center console with disco lights, stereo system, tricking it out. It's the options that will drive up the cost of a boat, typically. So, so this is the star of the show? Yes, sir, for us. we've been. Uh, so when I first met you, mm -hmm. when you first gave us uh, some fame, um, we have the hybrid model. Okay. But this is the new open. So it's the same hull as our hybrid. Okay. However, it has higher freeboard. It has a completely different layout. This would be more of your uh, near shore. Mm hmm And, uh, you know, inshore, offshore, near shore. Still the same 133 gallon tank. Um, 60 gallon well, twin 30s in the back. Um, we have a lounger. We have different console configurations. Uh, Matt, who's always been with us, and uh, Matt, you know I'm going to go on the record and Matt. say it's the team that makes everything. Listen, all, listen, yeah. Matt, Matt follows me from like, I from know. from, look at him, look at him. Yeah. Matt, where was I four minutes ago? Where were you? Finally? Yeah, he knows everywhere I'm at. He's like, Alfred. I was like, where are you? Where'd you come out of, bro? <laughs> open, yeah. this, open this. Is there a head in here? Yes. I want to see that. Yes. Hey, Matt, let me ask you a question. I got people asking me, where's Fred? What, what, what? He's close by. He's close by? Yeah. Like close, close? He could be really close? Can you point maybe in the direction he might be? Okay, wait a second. Let me see something because we're looking for Fred. I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him? No. I haven't seen him either, but I've been, look I've been looking for him. I've been looking for him the whole show. I haven't found him. No, no but... If they find them, they can, they can take them back and bring them back to Black Point. So, okay, so tell me a little bit about, uh, else about this. Matt, tell me about, the, uh, about this boat, what, so what you like. Five open. Mm -hmm. I like how roomy it is, walking all the way around. You can walk all the way up to the front. Uh, like our other model, the hybrid, you got the elevated deck. This has where it's open all the way up front. And if you want to pass, you can get all the way up on the um, platform up here. How much? What are we looking at? More or less, base. This is anywhere from 165 to 220. 165 to 220. Where can they go online? EastCapeBoats.com. EastCapeBoats.com. Kevin. Yes, sir. Thank you. If you guys find Fred, let me know, please. Alfred, we love you, brother. Thank hey, you. I love you guys, bro. Have a good show. Yes, sir. All right, guys. We continue. For some reason, I don't know where Fred's at. I don't know. A M P. Wow, 333 SE, what is up with this? Oh, look at this. MSRP 647. Wow, I'll tell you right now, that paint job is on another level. Yes. Look at this boat. 
it's got. All right. What do you? I don't know, guys. Comment below. Uh, what do you guys think? Let's see what we got in here. I, I, I gotta see. I gotta see this boat. I gotta see this boat. I, I, they have to see it on on my YouTube channel. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm not live right now. But I am a fan of green, so I think, are these the same exact boat, identical hull? These two are, yeah. Yes. Well, how, how big do you guys make them? That's it, 33. 33s? Just 33s? They're going to make 43 next, uh, available next September. All right, I'm going to give, I'm going to give a sneak peek. I'm not going to take off my shoes because I'm going to stay on the, on the ladder. But can I come back and do a dedicated walkthrough with you guys? Yes. We'll, we'll talk about it. How are you? Good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see if we can see and peek in here. A and P, guys. They're saying they have a 33 and they're coming up with a 43. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys. We need a dedicated walkthrough. 100% we need a de dedicated. This is a very nice boat. Very, very nice boat. Very aggressive lines. I like this. I like this a lot. Oof. Damn. Don't fall in love, Alfred. Don't fall in love. We still have a lot more to film. Can't fall in love yet. I got to give myself time. Pace yourself, Alfred. You can't, you can't fall in love. You can't fall in love so early in the show. Listen, I, it's, I'm, I'm like, please, Alfred, pace yourself. There's a whole show you got to film. Don't fall in love yet, but I think... I, I think I might have just fallen in love. Well, you mind if I get your contact information? Chicho on YouTube with a C. Okay. Alfred Montaner. Look at my shirt. All right, guys. First time I've seen them at the show. First time they've seen me. Oh, we got Solis is in the house. Look at Sarah Doherty there. Um, Sarah Doherty. Oh, look at Kevin Barker. And we got, sorry, gentlemen. I just wanted to say hello. I'm here filming. Um, Kevin, a little bird told me there's a 37 that you guys are going to be coming out with yes. soon. Yes. Brand new 37? Brand new 37, yep. We're here in the convention center. You guys have a booth also at the show in, on the docks. Yep, over the BMR, we've got six boats in the water. Two, boat, two boats doing sea trials. Really? Yeah. And you guys are selling 37s without it even being here? Yes. Yes. I, lo I love Solis. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for Fred. By any chance, have you seen Fred? Who? Fred. Oh, Fred? Yeah. Maybe right someone? Yeah. Yeah. Can you give me like an idea? Just point in direction yeah. where he might be? Kind of that way. Kind of that way? All right, guys. Well, look, we'll find Fred. Hopefully, he's, he's around here somewhere. Um, but we're here at Solis. Let's see what we got here, guys. And if you guys have not... You didn't crash. We didn't. You didn't crash. We... I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not a chicho. My, my bad. No, no, you were doing the, the Fort Lauderdale River. Oh, okay. Oh, the, the, the new river. The new river, yeah. Well, listen, I haven't seen all that content yet. Okay. So there might be hope. What, what kind of boat was it? All right, Jupiter. All right. How you doing, Alfred? What, what's nice going on, here. guys? Everything's going great over here. Oh man, I'm 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 loving it. I'm looking at. It. I'm excited about the new 37. I want yeah. them. I want them to see that because. Yeah. Well, two weeks it should be ready to go. They just didn't want to rush it to get it over here, so, so it's going to be a real amazing boat. So the 37 is in, be, in between the 32 and the 41. Correct. That's exactly. a that's a good yes. good spot for yeah. it to be. It's a very good fit. I'll tell you, if you haven't been on these boats yet, they're unreal. I did a couple water tests yesterday and today, and they are, I mean, yeah. the 32, unreal. With twin 400s, we're running, I mean, in what, four to sixes out there? Well, listen, I've been on, on the 41 and some pretty nasty stuff too. And I'm gonna go to the to the actual factory and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk through with oh, Steven yeah. and them. Oh, that'd be awesome. Right now, I'm kind of looking for Fred, but I don't know where yeah. Fre Fred. Fred the Croc? Yeah, Fred the Croc is, is I don't know where he's at either. I've been looking for him everywhere. Yeah. Well, we, we, we love your content. I yeah. Like the, it's like I'm at every boat show. Have you seen Fred the Croc? Huh? Fred the Crocodile? You haven't seen him? Yes, I did. Where is he at, though? I don't find him. I can't find him anywhere. Thank you for coming out. I got it. I got it. I know which one it is now. Hey, guys, have a good one. Hey, take care, guys. Thank you.
Thanks Sarah. Thank you so You're much. welcome. We'll see Jeremy. Wait for it. I think I found Fred. Where's Fred? I don't know. I don't know, but I think I might have seen him somewhere. <laughs> Sarah Doherty, guys. Um, Ryan, which is their son, has um, a hat. And I gotta, I gotta get their daughter a hat too, because, you know, I was talking to Steven the other day and she's going through some stuff right now, but she's okay. She's, she was doing some exercise and you know how kids are, they, they do things, but they're, they're all good, guys. Solis is always super friendly to the channel. I really appreciate them. I really, no, it's right not. There. No, it's not, guys. Alfred is That's tall. Alfred is tall. 6'5", 225 and ripped. What are you talking about? Dude. Oh, Black the point. Show. The okay. shit okay. show. Okay. The okay. chick okay. show. Bro, we watch you all the time. You're awesome. No, you don't. Yes, all the time. Do. How do you know it's me? Um, wait for wait it. For it. Um, there's wait for it. Okay. And who's Fred? Who's Fred? The alligator. What did you just, crocodile. you just called, she, she just called him a crocodile, Bro, give her a an alligator. She, you know, hey, hey if it I'm not going to let, oh, it's like that. <laughs> the incredibly good, good looks is not enough. All right, so, so you guys been watching the chit show. I'm yes. actually looking for Fred. Are you? Yes, he's here somewhere, but I, I can't find him. Yes, he's here. Fred is so, here. Where's Fred? Yeah, he's, he's here. So, so I'm, I'm looking, if you find him, let me know. Okay, you'll see me. I'm recording, guys, here at the show. Fred, the American crocodile, guys. I know, I know right now there's people punching their TV saying, we don't have crocodiles in North America. And I will say we absolutely do, guys. South Florida has the biggest crocodile, American crocodile population in all of North America. And Fred is the most famous crocodile of all because he visits us at black point marina all right so we're right now at sea hunt i know i got a couple subscribers that have been telling me to go check out sea hunt um and we're here guys we're here let me know what you guys think and uh yeah i mean it's what do we got what do we got price point for this BX 25 SS Bay Boat, $111,000 for this Bay Boat. Comment below, guys. What do you guys think? It's here as you come in to the show. It's one of the very first booths you'll see. Twenty five game fish. What do you guys think about nice this man. one? What do you guys think, huh? Pretty nice? Yeah, it's nice. nice. What's the price point there? They're asking one thirty seven, it says here. One thirty seven. With yeah. twin. Twin one fifties. Twin one fifties. What's the name of your uh, your YouTube? Chicho. Yeah, I see you before. Hey, guys, buy it. It looks good. I like it. Sea Hunt. We got a lot of these Sea Hunts over there in, uh, in Black Point. Contender is in the house. All right. Let's see the 30 ST Contender here, guys. And they were at the Annapolis show. Look at this, look at this monster, guys. Look at this. Wow. That's a big boy. Now, we'll see some of the stuff that we can actually see as well. Look at this. Very nice boat. Look at this. I really, really like this setup. 
Look at that. This is nice stuff, man. What's it powered with? 300? have a big booth out here guys big big booth here at contender a lot of people are on there guys and, but yes check out contender if you guys come to the show um, very big contender back there as well let me show you guys here so you guys can see what's going on let me see if maybe we can get up there a little bit and give an idea People are going to think right now that there's a floating camera above their shoulder. So. Look at this big boy. All right, we got to my left, we got Grady White. Wow, that this boat is super packed with people all right i can't it's, it's just getting higher and higher guys all right. hey what's up guys welcome to the i'm gonna be on youtube babe i just took you off what are you gonna do now i just took you off i, I just took you off this was the silent version of my video <laughs> you're on youtube babe oh boy I don't want to shock you. The grandpa boats. Pontoon boats, guys. You guys know I got a pontoon boat that I'm actually fixing. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I want to see what happens here. All right, this is different. Very different. Carbon fiber? Wow. Nice boat. Morada. What do you guys think, guys? Comment below. I want to know what you think. Hey, just curious. What's the, what's the thought process behind the... the all, everything open as high as it is? Like the hatches and stuff. Having them open just yeah. to show show off what the underside looks like. With the rods and everything. It's a rod storage in there. So okay. Because we have a short little hatch. We didn't have the bottom backdrop here. Okay. So put a rod in there. I've never seen that. That's yeah, why I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, 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 I haven't seen it. Rods. Yeah. Just slide them right in. Nice. Nice. Where are you guys making these? In Stewart, Florida. In Stewart? I like it, man. Beautiful boat. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you so much, guys. You, What's the name of the company? Island Marada Boatworks. Island Marada Boatworks, guys. Wow, this is really nice. Out of Stewart. Florida, Florida made boat, guys. Check them out. I've, I've never seen that. All right. Um, Wait a second. Huh? Is that a boat? Yeah. Yes. It's a Coast Guard approved boat. It's a 250 horsepower get you there now boat. It's got the Yamaha high output. I think you're going to have to pick up somebody along the way. You can't just ride this by yourself. Because well, that's, that's what it's got to see. Right? Yeah. Actually, it does have a four seater as well. It has a four seater too? Yes. What's powering this? It's a uh, Yamaha. This has the I 180 like the motor okay. horsepower high output. Mm -hmm. Who makes this? This is made by a uh, water sports car. They built it out of Miami. Yes. I was actually on one, by the way. 
Ah, damn it! I was trying. Ah, I was on one, and I'll tell you, it was one of the funnest rides I've ever been on. Um, I had a pretty, I had a pretty aggressive captain too, but it was a lot of fun. Did you ride it in Miami? I did. Awesome. awesome. Good to see them over here, guys. En enjoy the show. Oh, by the way, have you seen the new Salento Star boats? No, I haven't seen it. This is a, a 43 foot seven boat. This is the this one, the Scamander. Bill. It's Vice Commander, yeah. It's yeah. The second bill. I uh, I may have it's filmed the first one in the United States. You okay. hadn't filmed this. Not one. this one. No. This, this is the official idea for the new. The, uh, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna tease it on this video. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do a dedicated walkthrough. Do it. So so we can show it because I I've done a lot of videos with Commander. Man, I watch you every day. I know. Good. Thank you. And you watch the chit show. I'm, all right. So listen, get me the water sports car and get me a Commander. I'll be out. In, you know, in 30 days, I'll sign a check and we'll. I'll use that as my tender. There you go. I'm ex do that. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, all right, all right. So, because I'm on a different camera, guys, I have to cut a little bit because this camera shuts off by itself after a certain time limit. So I think I'm going to take that break right about now. And we're getting here close to... Oh, well, we got, we got to pass through. We got to pass by Grady White. And then we're going to go to Sea Hunter. Let me see if I can get in here real quick. Let's see if we can sneak in here and check out the Grady Whites. Somebody was asking me the other day. Oh, that's right. In the other show, they're asking, they're saying they're interested in a 37 Freedom. Um, this is the 38 Canyon, which is a beast, by the way. Let me see if we find the 37. Because when I put it on camera, he's going to make the decision. He was... He was thinking about a 37 Canyon, or I forgot what whaler he was talking about, but. <laughs> it was it the 307? No. All right, well, whatever. He'll find the boat whenever, when he sees it. Guys, Grady White. Um, very popular boat down in South Florida here. Uh, solid boat. I mean, very, very solid boat. Known for, for beating up the seas. Let me see the... Look at this. This is different. I haven't filmed these. Two fifty one uh, Coastal Explorer. I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking this, guys. Comment, comment, I want to know. I like this. I like this a lot. Look at that. Let me, see, let me show back here. All right, let's go. Let's go to the other side. Um, I'm gonna cut the video now. No, no, it's not me, man. It's not. It's not. All right, let's go. Come on. Ready? One, two. All right. Say, Dad, forty bucks. Thank you. Boom. All right. Um, if you guys see Fred, let me know. I'm, I'm still looking for him. Where's Fred, guys? Um, dads, mom, get your kids. I need help. I haven't seen him yet. And I need, I need them to tell me where they find Fred. All right. Wait for it. Hold on. Boom. And we'll continue at the boat show. All right, all right. So we're here, Yellowfin. Yellowfin has a huge booth, guys. Huge, huge booth. Now, the sentiment of the show has been very good. People are not understanding why the show has been so good. A lot of people are still purchasing. 
and some people thought that would be different than what's really happening. So that's the sentiment so far. A lot of cash buyers. So very nice looking boats here at Yellow Fund. So yes, big boats, guys selling, and uh, people are buying. They're they're buying. Nice looking yellow fin. And obviously the yellow fin is known for being a badass fishing boat. I mean, it could be everything boat, but like the diehard fishermen, they love these boats. And let me show you why. <laughs> shall, shall we say more? Shall we say more? Look at that. Look at that. You think the ocean's going to win against that? No. Well, I mean, it'll always win based on the day, right? But <laughs> this thing is 39 feet of amazingness. Good afternoon, Boat Show. Now appearing at the Green White Booth, your Miami Dolphins. Wait for it. Here, Got it. How you doing? Don't you dare. Not on time. Yes, What's going on, man? How you guys doing? You guys seen anything you guys like? Yellow fin? I'm, I'm walking the show. I, I'm watching. I, I'm walking. I'm walking the show. I'm trying to see. I'm actually looking for Fred the Croc. Really? He's here. Fred the Croc is around here somewhere? He is. Oh my gosh. You tell him to come see us at Yellow Fin. Well, listen, if you guys see him, tell him I'm looking for him. I'll make sure. Yeah, I heard some people screaming on the other side of the thing, but I was like, I'm going to put an air tag on him if I do. Yeah, we got to. We got to. We'll find him. I don't know about that air tag because if he swallows it, <laughs> You're right about that. Hey, yellowfin in the house, guys. All right, wait for it. All right. 36 offshore. Um, proven hull, badass boat, known down here locally in South Florida. See a lot of these right here. A lot. We got Sea Hunter in the house. Chris, don't go anywhere, sir. Come here. I want to talk to Autumn. Where's Autumn? Yo, yo. What's up? <laughs> Look, come here. No, 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 no. Look at her. All right. All right. Welcome to Sea Hunter. Here we are. I'm looking Autumn. for. Autumn, what was that? What? Eddie, what, was, what were you saying, Eddie? Hey, have you seen Fred? Have you seen Fred? Fred the, Fred the crocodile or Fred the boat buyer? Fred. I saw both. Where, uh, yeah, Fred the Croc. Fred the Croc. Can you point in the direction he might be? Fred the Croc? Right over my shoulder. I, have you seen him? Who? I heard Fred the Croc. Yeah, he's under the trailer. Though. He's under the trailer. Why would he be under the trailer? He's not here, guys. He's not there. Hey, he might be in the, in the toilet in the 45. In the toilet? No. <laughs> there's, enough, there's enough room for both of you. Wait. I want to see the 30. Where is it? Right here. Right behind. Here she is. That was kind of stalking. The boat show and Bill on the water. What's up, Alfred? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. I I'm stalk a stalker I, of Alfred. Yeah, listen, I stalked him the other day while I was filming too. So now this is payback. <laughs> Chris, okay. So I already have people hitting up. Come here, Eddie. You might as well be in here too. I mean, we need turkeys in the picture. Remember? That's right. <laughs> oh my Ray, remember? I remember. Uh, yes. Can't you fly with the eagles. <laughs> You got a sword. Surrounded by turkeys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. That's special. why he's walking away right yes, now. Yes, yes. Okay, so, I, I, unbelievable show. Yeah. A lot of people didn't expect the show to be as crazy and as good as it's been. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So last time we were together, well, I, I kind of said that a little weird. Last time we went and filmed, we were at the factory. Right. And we did a full walk, uh, walking tour and factory tour of the factory. And one of the things I obviously wanted to talk about because now you guys are cranking out a lot of these 30s right yeah man i mean they're here so they're, they're here. here it's here okay so why don't we go since i'm doing my full walkthrough of the whole show now okay. you got something let's let's walk it real quick so yeah, we can see like it a quick super quick yes walkthrough. yeah okay show me well let's do two two boats two boats two boats, two boats. pick this one and another one that you want to show let me see we've done a lot of the, we've done cats we've done some of the bigger holes why don't we do um 
We haven't done the 45, so let's do this. Let's okay. do a quick 30 okay. and a quick walk through the 45. Okay, which go. Which are two newest models. Floridian, right? Yeah, so still in the Floridian line. Okay. It's, just, it's 30 feet by uh, 10 foot wide, so a little bit beamier than our 28. A um, couple of different changes to the running surface, but overall it's, it still doesn't lose what the Floridian line is, right? It doesn't lose that pedigree of the 30. So it's going to draft super minimal amount of water. Um, you can put that boat probably in 16 to 18 inches of water. And if you want, let's hop on. Let's go. Um, shoes off. Midnight blue for you. Just fire away. Fire away, guys. Yes, this is this is why I come here. Come no on. unedited. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, guys. Let's go. Come on, get in here. Um, so, first of all, let me just say, you all look like Ralph Lauren polo models. You know. I'm just saying, like, like you guys are like. Like Ralph Lauren, everybody is suited up with the, yeah, I love super, it. As, as you can see in my face, we're super excited. I'll be dressed like this. So yes. And, and you know what? <laughs> uh, 363, three days out of the year, yeah. you're very comfortable Shorts, on the water. Shirt, yes. Okay. Sunglasses on. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah. Thank you. I had to Thanks make sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So what do we got here? Show. Okay. So essentially same idea as our 28 Floridian, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to have the same transom with the, uh, the two live wells. You're going to have the rear facing seating, mm -hmm. but it is going to get wider. We have a wider bench. Okay. But we don't lose that idea. The bench uh, with the seat and the, the drink cooler mm -hmm. and then also the tackle storage. Just like all of our other sea hunters, that's like our signature, right? Yes. Okay. But it is wider, right? So okay. Rather than being a little bit tighter and a little bit narrower the seat, a little bit wider, you put maybe three people back here, sometimes four, depending if it's uh, what size they are. Okay. Moving forward again, a bigger, wider console. All right. But not losing our pedigree, who we are, right? The carbon fiber um, dash with the Garmin's, you know, and all the whole package here. We have the stand through station mm -hmm. as you can see upstairs yes you just come up through through there yep. and, climb up. And, and, and you have a full station up there you have a garmin uh, garmin gps steering everything we still have the storage here mm -hmm. okay and then as you work your way forward okay, the biggest changes and this is why we brought the bo both boats here both models okay you see this has a really big uh plush seating area here in the front the lounge seat i really like this yeah this is a real hit especially with. i really like this this is nice yeah. and as you can see if you look across it's just a regular bench on the 28. so okay. that's a big difference between the two boats so is this is this 30 going to cam cannibalize the 28. i don't think it will because these are two different stock customers um these are the guys that are running a little bit longer distance this boat holds 100 gallons more than the 28 does so it gives them a little bit more range it's a little bit bigger wider heavier boat and it allows it to do a couple different things but the, the cool part is that both of them draft very similar numbers in okay. water. This is a very nice boat, Chris. Yeah, thanks, I mean, man. We appreciate it. We're super happy with fi this boat. Fishing, fishing guys, especially that the, the like this style and need to draft yeah. like shallow, skinny yeah. waters, this is, a, this is a good option. Yeah, I mean, you can put this boat extremely shallow, you know, in inches of water, and it's going to do exactly what still our 28 does, just in a bigger platform. Another cool uh, thing we have here is the sea swivel which mm -hmm. is a swiveling base for your uh, your trolling motor. So it just moves in the direction you need it. Yeah, exactly. So it allows you to do is just swivel it around. We really did, this was really designed for the cat boats. Okay. So that we can put them down the side of the gunnel rather than in the front. And okay. it's easier to launch the the, the, uh, the trolling motor. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to show it off here, so here it is. All right, so that's the 45 behind us. Yeah, this is the 45. So there's a new really redesigned. We've always had a 45. We just grabbed it, revamped it, made it a little bit more plush, a little bit uh, more family friendly and a little bit less hardcore, but it still doesn't lose that hardcore fish boat. Okay, feel. so so the 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 it's a quad it's a quad Yamaha. Quad right? Yamaha. I see that there's a separation in the center of the transom. Yep. People would would think that that was a, yeah. a cat. It happens a, all the time. And it's not? No. Monohaw. Monohaw didn't lose that, but what the cool part is is we still have that dive platform in the back like you would in a cat. People really love that, so we said, you know what, let's put it in the new 45. I really like this boat, Chris. Um, all right, let's get on board. We're going to have to work around yeah, let's do the let's people. Let's, let's walk our way around, guys. Um, you guys want to be on YouTube? <laughs> wait for it. All right. All right, so this is what you're talking about right here. Actually, I want I want to show that because so you see, yes, totally, huge. All these motors will be together. Yes. Now they're separate. You have this little dive platform. There's a ladder there, and it's easy, nice in and out. 
when you're at the sandbar. Diving, nice. Also fishing, you can just drag a big fish in rather than having to bring it over the side of the gunnel. Yes, like it. But as you can see, just like in the 30, same idea, right? In all our boats, you guys have been on the 39 with me, you guys have been in the 46 with me. What else have you guys been on? And we've been on a couple different models, man. Yes, we, we've been we've been on, on, on a lot of boats. And I'll tell you, I would still tell people, even when they do our walkthroughs, we have two factory tours. We did the new tour, the new factory, which is in huge. Yeah. And um, and what was that that the area that you can't go oh, into? What's it called? The the R and D. The R and D. Yes. Yeah. Guys, I try to get an R and D. We don't let anybody in. They barely let me in there. Sometimes they look at me like, "What are you doing in here?" Yeah. So a cool aspect behind this boat here, what we did is when we re when we revamped this model, dual dive doors. Both mm -hmm. board and starboard. Go ahead and you can walk by. I don't feel bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't follow yeah. you, man. Thank you. <laughs> The chit -choo. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. So, yes. So, okay, so you were saying? So, same idea. Mm -hmm. Remember, behind the other boats, only cool part is, is now you have two dive doors. It's come standard on this model. One port, one starboard. So, you have three ways to get in and out of the boat when you're at, when you're parked at Sambo or fishing or diving or anything. Convenience. Like that. Huge. Yeah. Huge. But then again, the rear facing seating, the same style that you've seen in the 30 with the, the uh, tackle storage. Open that so they can see in there. there. This is yeah. just a lot wider, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I want them to see that because you see it looks so pretty and now you open it you open it and all of a sudden it becomes really practical, right? For for, for when you're trying to fish. It's just our big drink cooler and the nice. cool part is the carbon fiber on the bottom of the uh, the hatches there. Okay, so we've we've always had the debate like what's your favorite, the forty six cat, now you got the forty five mono ha. Huh? We've done footage yeah, on, both. on both no we haven't, no, been, this no, one. We haven't been on this yeah. one but but tell me what you like about this one when you take this one out so this is a little bit more yeah. creature comfort comfort family friendly boat okay other than like the cat because of having the tunnel here now we have a mono hall with a massive v on the bottom so what happens is it gives us a little bit more chance to be able to add those nice touches that maybe some of the family members would like the one that really counts the wife right uh, we have AC inside of the console, we have a little kitchenette, uh, a refrigerator, a full head with a shower, and a massive bed for when uh, you want to just take it out, take it easy, take a nap. And then uh, here's the dual row seating with the really nice teak chairs, Chris, ladder backs. What did your wife say when I went to the factory and I had that, that shot? And we, we were shooting because, you know, at, at Sea Hunter they have a bar area. Yeah, yeah. Like they, you guys, if you go over there, there's an AC showroom yeah. where they put your boat so you can just admire it and then the, the kids will play basketball. Yeah. Um, I think we should do another pickup game. Yeah, and then and this time I'll actually try to shoot it in the hoop. We'll try, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My listen. wife was like, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you, why did you lose? She was really mad at me, actually. Well, listen, uh, we're neighbors. We in, 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 you come in, out my hood now. Yes, yes, guys. <laughs> if, and, and if, if you see that I don't come back or ever come back on YouTube, you know what happens, guys. Okay, how's the dual roll aspect on this? And what are some of the options? So this is a game-changing thing. Um, I wasn't a crazy believer until we went and did a really long uh, YouTube, um, YouTube, yellowfin tuna fishing trip. Sorry, I'm a little mentally already okay. cooked. Okay. It's Saturday. Anyways, we were running around. I was sitting in the back seat, in front of the back seats here in the corner. I had just mixed a nice adult beverage and we were riding back with a boatload of fish facing forward enjoying the ride and i was like you know what this is what it's all about man this is the comfort that you get with this dual row seating and everybody actually had somewhere to sit we didn't have people just standing up the whole ride home um it's a massive change man it is really something nice and my favorite i love these ladder back chairs the uh the sport fish style ladder back chairs to me are beautiful okay and it seems like the the roll back here is a little higher than the front row yeah so you're just above everybody else so you can still see out the windshield okay? which is nice instead of seeing the other person's head yeah exactly especially if i like that bald guy, like, you know, ah well listen it happens <laughs> hey all right let's go forward real quick and yeah, see what's going on over forward. here guys because we're gonna we're gonna end up in the cabin okay so here massive really big okay we put i think like four or five people up here in the front when we were in key west on our owner's trip owner's trip okay we did recently you know big lounger it's it's got a nice curvature to really like lock you in when you're in there this is beautiful yeah, i mean ab nice. absolutely beautiful and i'll tell you what right now when you're here you get to appreciate the beam of the boat like 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 i can see 20 people dancing here having a good time at a sandwich oh no i believe it video. i believe it we got some video of you know this boat carries a 12, 12 foot beam from just about here all the way to the 
And, and this is kind of like a, a Ralph invention here? This is Ralph's baby. This is called the Wingman. This is something that he came up with. This was his idea. Uh, we actually fought a Marlin this summer from the Wingman. So we lock the rod in the front, in the front side, and then you just lean. And it allows us to chase the fish down when you got the rod in the rod holder mm -hmm. and you're fighting that fish. And you're not having to put all that pressure on your hips and on your lower back. This is taking most of the pressure for you. The other thing too is, was when we're fishing, I always have a big gaff up here and I always have a, a one bait, uh, one rod ready to fire out of bait. I got, I got to, listen, I hear a lot of fishing and this and that. I got to go fishing with you guys you and I got to bring the camera. Yes, I, I got to see if it's all true yeah, guys. Man. You know, like, it, look, I always say if it's not on video, I don't believe it. That's it. We so, owe you. I, 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 I owe you okay, trip. guys, we're going to do a trip one day. We will. We'll put it on there and we're going to see the wingman in action. And then we'll catch some monster fish. And I want to film. I want to see the guys at Sea Hunter slay it. <laughs> That's what I want to see. You know, one thing with us is we're all fishermen at heart. You know what I mean? That's really yeah. what, what got us into this business and, and with this company. You know, I, I came here because it was built by, this company was built by hardcore fishermen. And that's yes. who I am. That's who we are. And, and that's what we love. And I, I, here's a profile of the 30 that we were just on, guys. If you want to see it from, from about beautiful boats, guys. Thank you. Wait for it. Uh, I can't go anywhere anymore. Man, this guy's world famous here. And I, you know what? You've made me world famous. People are like, hey, I saw you on the YouTube. I was like, yeah, I was on the chit show. Oh, oh, all right, well, I'm going to continue walking the you show. Want to see the console real quick? Oh, we I haven't shown the there. console. Let's go in there real quick. That's, guys, there, just pop in. guys, I, 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 I almost forgot. I almost forgot the best part of this. Um, yeah, this is like, this is like the, the best part of this. Um, let's see if we got some light in here. And we do, light. we got some light. Let there be light. So, here it is. Was there anybody in there or no? There was like some lady in there. No, I'm oh. <laughs> and you open it right after you said yeah. that. Yeah, you, monst lady, hold on. you monster. You monster. get me in trouble. Yes, you know, you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so this is a big head. Yeah. And, and it's, it's got a shower in there as well, right? Correct. Yeah. Just so, above. Yep. Well, hot water here. So you always have hot water. We got our nice bed area here. Actually, we were running home from Key West during that same trip that I was just mentioning earlier. Okay. A couple of the ladies got in here and started watching Netflix while we were running home. They, ran, they watched like a whole series. Which is cool. Yeah, man. You know, it gets you out of the sun. You're in the AC. We have a microwave over here, which on our fishing trips is filled with always uh, firing out uh, hot pockets. Hot pockets. <laughs> um, sea keeper on this guy? Sea keeper on this boat. Also, it's under the, uh, the rear facing seat. How fast right is it going with these quads? This boat you see somewhere in the 60s. 60s? Yeah. Remember, Chris, kind of funny with uh, giving you the top speeds. <laughs> Chris, Chris, give them your information so they can call you. All right, so I can be contacted at chrisd at seahunterboats.com and then also my phone number 786-256-3757. Appreciate you guys. All right, guys. Chris, over here at Sea Hunter, we're going to continue running and gunning. Hey, if you see Fred, let me know, Chris. Hey, if, you, if I find him, I'll let you know. I'll give you a call. I, I've been looking for him. I have not found him. Alfred, thank you so much for coming and joining us, man. Hey. Appreciate you, man. I'll see you around, I'll off around. camera. All right, guys, we're gunning. Tell me that wasn't amazing. Tell me that wasn't amazing. Wow. Every time I see these things, it's incredible. And here's the thing, right? If you go to the factory tour, um, you're gonna really, really see what's... Thank you. You guys are awesome. All right. Here's the cat. One, one of the cats. Massive, guys. And uh, yeah, and, and the factory is massive. The factory is not far from where I'm at. All right. We got Nauta Star over here. We got some tide water boats. Little bit of everything. We got Yamaha back here. Uh, Yamaha's got the 450 now. Daniel actually was talking about that in the other two shows. Guys, this is a three-part series. So look for the Florida uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show special. Three parts I've done. I've done two at the other side of the show, and now this one here in the convention center. And essentially, I try to bring you guys to the show, but I will tell you, it's never the same like if you were here. So give yourself time, set up your... Uh, set up your year to try to see if you guys can come 
to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. I, I assure you, you're gonna love it. You're gonna really, really like it. It's the biggest boat show in the world. And it's, it's absolutely awesome to, to see. I see people, no, I was, I'm not live, but I see people looking at me weird. I'm like, oh shit, oh, I owe no, the, the like, money, I owe the <laughs> money, man. He's like, that's the shit show. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we've been there a couple of times. Yeah. But no me ha cogido nada raro. Nada raro. No más, no lugar. Bro, you have no idea if I have stuff on you or not. Yeah. I know what I have. I know, I know. I watch hey, all of your videos. Listen, so. this is, this hey. is, this is going to get you into trouble one day oh, with no, me at the boat ramp. That's a limit, wait, man. Wait <laughs> for it. Wait for it. Have you guys seen anything you like so far? Pretty nice uh, center consoles here. Uh, um, and now yeah. yeah. Prices are pretty good. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of people tell me that. Like, like, you know, you have two different markets. You have interest rates right now at eight percent, which is crazy, right? Yeah, the interest rate. And then you have people that are just saying, "All cash, let me give me my boat tomorrow." Mm -hmm. So there's like two discrepancies in the market. But yes, some people are are kind of trying to figure out what's going to work for them because they still want to go boating. Yeah. Life must go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Oh, the quality? This is the best idea they had. Because the in convention center, you never see a call. And this is a way of getting people to spend the money. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. After a couple if of days, we, we, we might be ready to make a decision. At the end of the day, you're like, you know what, let's go. Let's make go, it. man. Yeah, Alfred was there. It's a sign right. from the Fort Lauderdale gods. Right, right. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, good to see you, man. Hey, hey, come here. Let's take a picture before we go. Yes. Let's yes, go. Come yes, on, come yes. on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's let's, let's do this real let's quick. Do, uh, we have to selfie. do this. Let's, do let's go. Make it happen. Wait for it. Get get back in. Yeah, mom. yeah. You guys yeah, can yeah. share it to each okay. other. Okay. Right. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Here. 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 Give me. I got. I got it. Ready, guys. All right. Go this this is becoming a chit show already. <laughs> One, two. Nice. Hey, Thank you guys, so much. enjoy the show. Hey, thanks for watching. For real, seriously. No. I'm gonna check out the rest of the boats. You're the best. Guys, wait for it here. All right, so um, now to star, they're saying that the prices are good, guys. And one of the questions I get from you guys is, off of buy, find boats that are affordable. And trust me, guys, I try. I really do. Um, but, you know, every, every market is a little different. And some, some, some manufacturers just don't have the options that might be more affordable here. What is this here? This is a 22XS. No pricing on this guy, but... Oh, online. Is this a price here? Um, no. That's, that's the warranty. Is seven sure. years? Is is no? They're, Yamaha's not offering seven years. I'm not gonna believe that, dude. Are you gonna tell me Yamaha is giving seven years on on an engine? No, no, no. There's no way. I got I got I got to call Phil from Boat Center and and ask him, guys. All right, let's go. Let's go check out Tidewater real quick. We got some boats here in Tidewater. My neighbor Ozzy has a tide water and we go fishing on his boat. We we're in the Keys on his boat. We had a great time, guys. He loves his boat too. He does really love his boat. I like that, I like that console. What do you guys think? Oh boy, we got some Barcero music. What is this? Oh, never mind, guys. It's what sounds putting on the speaker system. What sounds making a scene at the show? What sound? What sounds has gotten me at the boat round too, guys. Um, it's starting to be seen a lot more down here in South Florida. All right, let's see. I like this boat. All right, what do we got here? We got another one here. Twenty-five footer. Lots of great things happening here at the convention center for the boat show this year. Just remember, if you get hungry, you don't have to leave. Come on up to the Angler's Lounge, located on the second floor, just above the main entrance. They've got their amazing hand-raised and breaded gear bites with a tropical rumble 
a black and koya with a ginger coconut cream and a grapefruit straw. And their featured drink for today, the Stager. The Angler's Lounge, second floor, just above the main entrance. We have some great causes here today. And on over to Green and White to meet the Miami Dolphins cheerleaders here supporting the Miami Dolphins Cancer Challenge. All right, guys. Let's go. All right, we got Invincible a little bit ahead, and uh, we got Dusky here to my left. So we're gonna we're gonna make a quick left, and then we'll go and make a right. So Angler's Lounge, second floor above the main entrance. Dolphin cheerleaders over to Green White and the Blue Wild Raffle. The Blue Wild Raffle is here supporting the Pons, Wounded Warriors, and Team Two. With trailer Dusky 252 XF, 135 guys, 135,000 factory direct here for Lauderdale Boat Show. Comment below, comment below. Um, these boats ride nice. They do, they ride very nice. A friend of mine used to have one of these. And um, they do ride very nice. Solid, solid boats guys, very, very solid. A lot of people know the brand. They make them very, very good. See this here too? Look at that. See that? It's a nice looking boat, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Oh, I haven't seen this guy. This is a bigger Dusky. I haven't seen this one. When did this come out? Good. Very nice. All right, we got Edgewater over here. Oof, guys, you got Invincible here. I remember, you remember when they had the pilot house here? One year? They didn't bring it this year, but you know, Invincible has some badass boats. And we've done some dedicated videos, guys, on Invincible in the past. We're boarding the 39 Open Fisherman now. Let me see. Let's see. Beautiful boat, guys. Got a sales guy here talking about it. Beautiful guys. Check out Invincible. Like I said, we've done some dedicated uh, videos in the past there. We've covered a lot of the show guys. A lot of the show, there's still some more to go, but uh, yes. Let's see. Well, we got Donzi here, man. Dude, we, we're, we're running. We're running. We're, we're, we got a, we got a lot of work we've been doing, guys. Hey, smash that like button. What do you guys think about this Donzi? All right, we are continuing here at. Um, Donzi guys, Donzi is here in the house. It's in the house, the good old Donzi. Thirty-nine VRZ guys, very nice looking boat. Yeah. 
Thank you. All right. Um, what do we got going on over here? Yes. Like. Alike. We continue, we continue guys. We're three fourths of the way done. We're not too far from amazingness. Key West, we've done a couple videos on some Key West boats in the past. Look at Key West with scan strut. Wireless charging, say what? Guys, this is all you need. This is all you need to make memories, right? here. What, what size is this? With a 150, how many feet is this boat? 65K, guys, $66,000. So 20, uh, 203FS. Now, if, if you're here locally in South Florida or in the Boynton area, Tuppence, Daniel from Tuppence Marine knows Key West very good. So you guys have seen Daniel on my channel a lot. He, he's a Key West nerd, like hardcore. Like he, he like, like watches everything in the forums and he told, he told me that there's like people that create their own accessories for them and all that stuff. It's pretty cool, cool, cool stuff. We got trophy here. Oh, we got some kayaks over there. Sometimes the kayak is what it, it takes. Now, you guys have seen some of my videos in the past. I've done a video on a Cape Horn, which is right behind me. And I'll tell you, I like this. I like this uh, boat. The ride is really nice. It's got twin 600s on this bad boy. But uh, yeah, this is a badass boat. Very, very nice looking boat. What do you guys think? Comment below. Wow. I, I couldn't reach anymore, guys. Look at this, but look at this. This is why I rode this boat, not this particular one, but the, uh, the Cape Horn at the Annapolis with some twin diesels, uh, ox diesels. So I think it was twin 300s. And the, 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 the boat and the diesels, badass. Big fan. Roballo's in the house. See what's going on with Roballo. See where the price point on the Roballo's are. We got a Sea Fox there, I want you guys to see as well. 240 for this 30 footer. Let's see what we're getting. Let's see what we're getting. Another base style boat here. I like that. That sea comes down, and you can still fish on there. Roballo, guys, Roballo. Very popular down here in South Florida. Lots of Roballos down here. Or like people in Spanish say, Roballo, or Roballo. Oh, 
right. We continue. All right, so there's a there's a sea fox I want you guys to see. I think we uh, we actually showed the sea fox on one of the shows. Look at this bad boy. This thing is pretty, man. I'm telling you, this sea fox is badass. The 368 Commander. And um, they're here under Boat Kings in Pompano. So Boat King and Pompano is here. We've got a big booth to display some of their sea fox models. Six five two twenty five and ripped six three. Don't be taking two inches. Two inches matters a lot, bro. What's going on, man? I'm looking at the sea fox. You got, you got Alfred with you? He's not with me today, but Fred is around. We're looking for Fred. Alfred is somewhere filming, but you know, he's really, really tall. Hey, what what boat is this here? It's a 368. Dude, it's badass. You should see this ladder. I think. Come on. Go, go, go. All right, guys. Oh, we're, let's go. What's your name? Richard. Richard, guys. Over here at Sea Fox. So, what do we got? What do we got over here? Hey, <laughs> wait for it. Good to see you guys. Check out that dive ladder. And then it's got that integrated step right there so you can get in and out of the boat. I like that. So, like, similar to a cat? Yes. Interesting. We added that design this year so we can... Uh, you can get in and out of the boat if you're a diver. Or, you yeah, know. sandbar, yeah, you, yeah, you know, exactly. however you're going. I'll tell you, I, I walked this boat. I, I think I, I, I filmed it in one of the shows. It might have been yeah, yeah. in Miami, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And I was. Well, with, we, it had triple. Uh, it had triple V10. So what? What? What are some of the options on this one now? You can spec it out with three if you want it. You the can trips. Do three. Yeah. You don't, you lose the ladder, but you can do twins, or you can do you can do it with trips. Depends if, if you want to be comfortable or you want to go faster. Yeah. yeah it's, the choices, choices, so, my the, friends. The insurance has been getting crazy, so that's why yeah. we've been doing twins. Okay, yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Um, so it's got a Sea Keeper air conditioned. Uh, it's got the Sure Shade. Mm -hmm. It's got generator diesel, so it keeps you alive. Very nice. I, I'm not gonna jump in. I have my shoes on, but we're good. All right, guys, let's look at this real quick. All right, so look, tell me a little bit about it because. You know, I've never walked this with, a actual, with an actual Sea Fox rep. So show, show the boat. I'm not a Sea Fox rep. Well, I own the Boat Kings. Okay, well, listen. I, 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 just, I just said that the Boat Kings was representing this place. But you, you guys are here. You, you have a lot of Sea Fox in your, in, your, in your store in Pompano, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have it. We carry every model. Um, we got the chiller so plates you can make you can do freezer and and fridge mm -hmm. or do both at the same time yeah you keep your drinks in there you keep ice in there and it'll stay stay cool nice uh, i like that rear bench sheet here that pops out it, look go, go in a way live, live wells. in a way that's a little stiff i'd rather it be stiff than very loose right. because it's going to rattle yeah right yeah no it's, it's all stainless yeah yeah it's all stainless yes i i actually one of the things that concerns me with like things that are like that, that are very, if it rattles, it could be a problem. That's not going to rattle. No, so I, I, I'm, I'm liking it. So what, 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 when did they bring out this size boat on Sea Fox? Uh, they've been building, uh, they've been building the 36 for, uh, say five, five or six years now. Let me open this up for you. But they definitely brought it up a couple of notches though. Oh, they have. This is, uh, yes. It's a it's a big difference. You can look inside the we got a Sea Keeper in here, Sea Keeper three. You got your generator back there. Nice. Pressurized live wells. It's a sweet set. I'll tell you, man. This is this is good, and, and it's how how, how uh, Richard, how competitive is it right now in the market? Right, like what what are you seeing in the market? Like obviously the the, the post COVID high is kind of like normalizing a little bit yeah so, so we all just have to uh, work harder yeah and and actually work this time we you know we can uh, we can uh, we could we could definitely sharpen our our pencils a little better now yes yeah that's for sure so, okay so the, uh, this boat specked out the way it is it said 569 is that the boat show uh, yeah, special yeah that's a special for the twin engine if you go with the if you go with the v10s you'll probably it'll probably put you uh probably 
six and a half, somewhere around there, if you go V10, 400s, triples. Yeah. You know, equipped the same way. This has AC, it has gen, it's got, you know, how, how, 22 MDFs. How, how, uh, how fast is this topping out at? Uh, with the twin 450 Yamahas, it'll probably get you like between uh, 52 and 53 miles an hour, you know, with a, with nice. a, with a, with a mid load. Yeah. And uh, with, the, with the V10 uh, 400 Mercs, you'll get uh, in the area of low 60s, 62, 63 miles an hour. You have like scan strut wireless chargers there, dual for both people that are on, on yeah. the boat. Guys, look at this boat. Let me, let me turn the lights on for you. He's gonna turn the lights on. What do you guys think? Smash that like, comment below. Um, I saw this boat a couple of shows ago and I, I'm a big fan. Look at this, look, he's got the lights on. This at night must be beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Under 600K. I know some people right now saying, wow, only 600K. Guys, listen, there's a lot of million dollar buyers right now that we're thinking about buying a million dollar boat and now they're gonna have to say, well, maybe that $600,000 boat is well enough for what me and my family need. So let me see if I can open this. Yes, I like this. And like I said, the Boat Kings will have this down in Pompano. Okay, so what else, or what else is Fox offering that we can talk about up here while we're up here showcasing this um, oh. So you got uh, you got the uh, electric uh, electric power shade. Hold on a second, guys. Let's see what we got. You can make it into a full sun pad, so this can all just so, be so you can just lay out. Yeah, nice. Bed, yes. yes, and you know you want to you want to get some sun while you're out there. Uh -huh. Nice, nice tan. And you got this forward shade. I like that, and that breaks down. You put it away. Where's the cabin? How do I get into the cabin? Right here. Let's see what's up in the console, guys. All right, let's see what's in here. Let's see, do we have... Oh, yes. Nice. This is nice. Very spacious. Does, is there an AC in here? Yeah, AC in there. AC in here. So I can see people coming back. Kids. Coming back from Bimini, just get in the cabin. Oh, yeah, sure. Just be in the AC, hang yeah. out, and uh, we'll get you there. Have a good time. How can they get in contact with you, Richard, at, at, at Boat Kings? Uh, we're located in Pompano Beach, uh, just theboatkings.com, and then you know our social media, our Instagram is the Boat Kings. Awesome. Thank you so much, right, man. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching the All channel. Right. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah. See Fox here in the house, guys. Um, And we continue walking and we're going guys, we're going. Now, tum, tum, tum. we got some murder hornets over here. Well, you guys know I call jet skis murder hornets. They're not really murder hornets, but it's a long story. You gotta watch my channel to understand the madness. But yes, jet skis or wave runners in this case. Every, everybody's fighting for the branding of what they're called, right? I call them murder hornets. I'm gonna open up my own line called murder hornets. Speaking of that, while I'm actually filming these wave runners, I actually did a video on the other show of an electric, all electric wave runner. And that was pretty cool. Leave me alone. What's oh, going on, show, man? Brother. Yeah. Show, you man. see anything you like or no? Love of everything, man. Good. <laughs> well, I'm here walking, showing everybody the show. Nah, 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 nah. Oh boy, there's some there's some interesting shit going on here. What is this about? Can you show us how it's done? Oh yeah, here we go. All right, guys. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how fast you can get it to go. That's pretty fast, dude. Look at that. She's got a, all right, uh, let me get out of here because I do have 
some audio scenarios that I can't have on the channel, guys. But yes, absolutely awesome. Yeah, I don't want this video to be demonetized for the background noise. Um, so I don't know. I hope I don't have to re-edit that, dude. Oh, man. Uh, YouTube and their monetization policies and like anything in the background that sounds like music, they just literally demonetize the video and they give it to that one singer that, that has nothing to do with this two hour walkthrough, which is crazy, but it is what it is, right? Oh, we got grandpa boats. Hey, pa! Wait for it. What's going on? Welcome to Boat Show. I'm well, filming I'm you across the street from, uh, from Black Point. Black Point. Yes, I'm yeah, not yeah. there today. It's it's slow. It's blowing 25 to 30. Yeah. So there's nobody there other than Daniel who films for me when I'm not there. And Fred. Well, Fred is here. Oh, he's here? He's here. I'm looking for him. Actually, somebody told me he's close. So I'm, I'm about to find him right now. All right. If you find him, let me know. I would love it. Guys, Fred's, Fred's in the neighborhood. Hobie, Hobie over here, guys. I'm sorry. Hobie was over there. This is Old Town. And Alex Folguera has done a bunch of videos of Old Town kayaks. So if you don't check out Alex Folguero or type in Alex Fishing, he has a lot of videos of Old Town. And uh, actually, he put me on one of those Old Towns. I don't know which one it was, but it was cool. It was a cool experience. Grandpa Boats, pontoon guys. This is not your average grandpa boat. Actually, I think Tommy is over there at Bennington. But right now we're at Harris. Uh, Intermarine has this guy. And you know that I'm fixing up a small little pontoon that I'm turning into a camera boat, which I'm excited about. I'm, it's a cool little build. It's been a lot of fun. I've been doing it little by little. Everybody wants, where are you going to finish the grandpa boat? Now, get off my lawn. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I've been busy. All right, so Harris here, and we got Bunnington. Oh man, I smell, I smell salt water, dude. What the hell is that? Is that salt water I smell? All right, so Bennington's here. If you guys remember, I did a video with Tommy at the Miami show a couple years ago. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on? Watch your videos all the time. Good, man. What are you guys doing over here? I found anything at the show you like? I, I, I like the Robalos, man. The Robalo? Yeah, they come on. I was just over there just now. Looking at the T-50. Yeah? Hey. Nice tans. Good times. You got kids yet? Yeah, do it now. <laughs> do it Do it now. If, if not, then look, it's not going to happen. All right, guys, young couple there uh, exploring for, for boats. All right, this is nice, guys. What do you guys think? Now, think about it like this. It's like almost a living room in the water, right? All right, I knew I, I smelled it. Guys, I, I, know what, I know what Fred smells like. I don't know, but I, I have an idea. I have an idea. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I knew it. He's down here. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, guys. Unreal. How does Fred move around so much? I just don't understand this. Um, I'll tell you this, guys. It's Saturday. You might be seeing this video on another day on Sunday. It might be the same day. But I will tell you, all this has been on put on my Instagram and people right now are searching for Fred throughout the show, looking at my, and I will tell you, we're gonna have interactive experiences on my channel where you guys can find stuff as well in the future. And I'll tell you, we're close to the end because the batteries are done. The batteries are done. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I saw something here earlier that I kind of want. I have a little Chihuahua and I have a boxer, but my Chihuahua doesn't swim. And I was thinking about throwing him in Black Point just so he could learn. Um, 
So. Chicho, what up? Okay, so I have, I have, a, I have a question. Okay. I'm trying to teach my Chihuahua how to swim. Okay. I'm gonna take him to Black Point. Okay. In front of the fillet table. It's, it's, it's. The fillet table? Yeah, I'm gonna put him in front of the fillet table to learn how to swim. But since I'm concerned that he doesn't know how to swim in front of the fillet table at Black Point, yeah. I wanted to put a life, a life vest or a life jacket on. Do you guys have an option for like a Chihuahua? Chihuahua. Chihuahua's you do. Snack. So, snack? What are you Fred. talking about? Snack? Oh, you think Fred? Nah, Fred. Fred. So we have this little life jacket. They range from sizes of small to extra large, and it comes with a matching leash. You know, so you let your dog swim, and you can hold him, so he doesn't get too far away from you. So if the shark tries to get him, you just go. Whoo. <laughs> so uh, okay, okay. Uh, let me ask you something. Um, can you do like a little option just in case? Like I want a little like a little tag right here at the at the end, uh -huh. right here that says in memory of Chapel. In memory of Chapel. Yes, that's my. You know, just for you, we can yes, make because that here's here's the thing. If you put a little tag, it doesn't. My dog's name is Chapel, right? right. But if Fred gets him, I want to have something I can hold on to forever. Forever. Because you know, yeah, he's he's gonna be gone, right? Maybe I'll maybe get a little piece of his tail or something, and then that tag will be sufficient for me to remember my. I can, we can pull something off for you. Where can they go online if they wanted to get more information on so you guys? If you wanna shop with us, you go to www.thenaughtydog.com, but spell it K-N-O-T-T-Y-D-A-W-G, and that's where you can find us. I can't believe we're killing off Chapo in this, and I call my dog Chapo. You know why I call him Chapo, right? Why do you call him? Because he's escaped from my house like 10 times. Oh my God, that's crazy. Can't be taken and, to and dog. No. And then what happens is I have a, a boxer. It's not a real dog. That is, is not the smartest dog sure, in the world. Of course, yeah. Have, yeah, yeah, dog. yes. But Chapel's very smart. Okay. So he escapes and then Bugsy. Bugsy. I don't know why all my dogs are criminals. They're all named under oh, criminals. Yeah. Uh, but Bugsy okay. is following Chapel. Everywhere he goes. Yeah, yeah. The so, liquids. so yeah. So I, I kind of gotta get Chapo like with a Fred sighting. Oh, yeah. speaking, of, have you seen Fred? Hey, someone found it. And Somebody found Fred. We were gonna get there next, it. but on your Instagram, you know, we we, we, we showed who you. found Fred. So make sure you check out. Your so, you so they found Somebody him. Found Fred. Yeah, yeah. They came darting in. I mean, darting. So they they knew exactly you. I gotta go to the other side of the show. I haven't even checked my Instagram yet because I've been filming this whole time. I know. The guy's always busy. He tagged you. Don't worry about the guy that found you. All, all right. Well, listen up. Guys, hey, have a great you. show. Yeah. Alfred Montana making a scene here at the show, guys. Well, Phenom is here. I filmed these guys in Annapolis just recently on my full walking tour video. And we did an Annapolis boat show video just like similar to this one, guys. So check, uh, check that out as well. And uh, it was one of my favorite boats over there in the Annapolis Boat Show. Pretty boat, very, very, very well-made boat. Um, what's going on, guy? How you doing? Good. Just showing uh, the Phenom, man. This, these boats are beautiful, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. You have all the reason to be proud of them, guys. Uh, sister company, the Sportsman, right? Yes, guys. Hi, hi, and here. All right, my friends. I was, I was just telling them that I was in Annapolis. We just did a video of beautiful, beautiful boat. Yes, guys, all right. And where we initially st started the video was, was, uh, was over here at the very end. Alfred Montaner, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. I don't know. Look. Uh, you see these floors, guys? Recently, I just, in my restoration of my pontoon boat, Corinthian Marine had given us um, a great deal via Palmetto Carpet in Miami. And I'm a huge fan of that oh. for... Again? <laughs> hey, Dad, stop following me, man. Guys, hey, Alfred Montana making a scene. What's up, guys? I'm out of here, dude. I'm destroyed. I am destroyed. You have no idea the level of pain I'm in right now. Smash that like. Um, guys, 
you want to go ahead and get yourself a Fred hat. I'm wearing the Miami Fred County hat right now. We got several options. LuxuryRibTenders.com. Out for Montana making a scene as always. Be safe out there, guys. Have fun. And I don't know. Look, we have gone full circle. Let's get out of here. Let's go.